Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope that you are going to accept the love challenge that I shared on Sunday. I want all of us to be engaging in acts of love, random acts of kindness, acts of care for people in the body of Christ. And every week for the next six weeks, I'm going to share a new challenge with you. And I hope that you will follow these challenges and get to know people in our church and love on them and help build up the body of Christ together. Because as we learned on Sunday in Colossians chapter 3, it is love above all else that binds us together in perfect unity. Or harmony, And we want that kind of harmony and unity. So we're going to look at some scriptures over the next few weeks, and we're going to give some specific challenges for how you can show that love that's going to bind us together in perfect unity. So the scripture passage I want to share with you for this week is from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10. And it says this, two people are better off than one. You've probably heard this before, right? Two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. We're in a very discouraging time right now. That's not news to you. And there are a lot of people who are isolated and lonely and feel separated from other people. And yet, it's the body of Christ that's supposed to provide community and togetherness and, and relationships and connections with each other. And we want to encourage that even more this week. That's one of the things we're going to be trying to do. One of the observations that I have about this passage in Ecclesiastes is that for someone to be able to help someone else up, they have to first see that they fell. They have to be there. They have to be walking alongside of them to even know that there's a problem to reach into. And the person who falls alone is in trouble. So what we want to do is make sure that people aren't alone. And that has to do with my challenge for you this week. And I hope you'll take me up on this. My challenge is to reach out to someone that you would like to get to know better in the family of God. Someone in church who you don't know really well. This is not a person who you would have called anyway this week. This is not someone that you would regularly talk to necessarily, but it's someone where you, you think about them and you go, hey, I'd like to get to know them better. Um, I'd like to reach out to them, but we just don't have that close of a relationship. So that's my encouragement to you is think of someone in our church who you could get to know better and ideally give them a call. And maybe phone calls aren't your thing. Maybe you need to do something else. Um, maybe it's a text and then meeting them. Or maybe it's a Marco Polo if you're into that. Whatever it is that you want to do to get to know them. I find that a phone call could be really helpful because there's that personal connection and interaction there. You can ask questions. You can listen. You can learn their story. I mean, that's such an amazing part of getting to know people is just hearing their story and understanding where they came from. Uh, Mr. Rogers used to have this quote that he would put in his pocket. I've shared this in messages before, so you've probably heard this before. But this quote that he kept in his pocket was, there isn't anyone you couldn't learn to love once you've heard their story. And I love that quote. So it's so important to just ask questions and listen and learn people's stories and get to know each other. It's only once we get to know each other better and, and we get to walk through life together a little bit more that we can identify when there's a problem that we can step in and help with. When one person falls, and what does that falling look like right now? Well, it might be depression and or discouragement over the current situation that we're in, over being stuck at home, not being able to do the things they would normally do, um, especially for people who maybe have a challenging family situation or live alone or, or for some other reason they might be discouraged right now. That's an opportunity for us as believers in Jesus to step in and be the body of Christ. So that's my challenge for you this week. I hope you'll take me up on it. Find someone in our church that you don't know really well. Reach out to them. Maybe it's a phone call, maybe something else, and just get to know them. Learn about their story. Learn about their hobbies and their gifts and their talents and, and their dreams for the future. Ask about all those things and just reach out to them and get to know them. And you never know, you might come across somebody that you can help in a meaningful way. All right, let's go do this together. Let's take the love challenge and be the body of Christ so that we're all built up in love and bound together in perfect unity. Thanks.